What up? It's your boy, Dick Incredible, man. And yes, I am back at it again. And I apologize for being all kinds of late, man. But between being sick and having so much other stuff to do, I got a little behind. But fear not, my friends, because we are back at it again with 911 Season 4, Episode 4. And oh my gosh, not what I was expecting, but still a little traumatic, man. Especially for Buck. Let's get it. Oh my gosh, man. I want to talk about everything that's going on with Buck and Maddie right now, but I'm going to save that for later in the video. Let's talk about everything else right now. This episode starts off and we see that May is taking a call that's from this party, this little block party that was going on. And this nosy neighbor is just mad that these little kids started squirting her with water guns. Sure. I mean, she's well within her rights to be upset and wanting them off her lawn, sure. But, I mean, they're kids, so kids are going to do things that kids do. But she got all upset, and she just called the police on these kids and, and made it seem like they were thugs running around in her neighborhood. But I felt sorry for May when she got the call because I was like, oh, okay, it's going to be one of those cases. But then it turned and done a complete 180 because the lady ended up getting shot while May was on the phone with her. And sure, that kind of traumatized May a little bit. And I felt like this episode, we really got to see a different side of May as well because she's not she's not going to be like Athena. I mean, that's her mom. And, you know, she saw how her mom acted and stuff, but that's not May. She's going through some stuff and she actually wants to talk it out with someone. She didn't bring it to Athena because she felt like she couldn't. But that whole issue kind of got resolved at the end of the episode. But May is actually willing to talk these things out i maybe maybe that has something to do with her uh suicide attempt you know like now she's starting to see things a little differently so like when she has these bad calls she's not just gonna hold them in she's gonna actually talk about it and and, and gather the people that's around her and help her through this process because we see this episode she talked to bobby as well and her father and they gave her some kind of insights that that kind of made May see things a little differently and a little clearly, if you kind of understand what I'm saying. But back to the call, man, because it was crazy. Then the lady shot herself. Then they start to investigate. And we see Buck <laughs> and Eddie both act like they're detectives and try to solve the, the scene. It was like, it's a locked mystery. Who did she wrong? <laughs> so, like, it was funny to see that aspect. But then the more we dive into the case, we see that she was stealing mail, blackmailing neighbors. So, and the way that she treated some of the other neighbors. So, Anybody could have wanted her dead in that entire cul-de-sac. But turns out that wasn't the case. We learned that the lady next door that she stole the gun from and was blackmailing was a bigamist. And she's out here committing all kinds of felonies. But she stole the lady's gun and she shot herself. That within itself is just like absolute crazy. But that made me feel like, okay, well... May was in a real bad situation talking to this lady and having this lady die on the phone with her. But once they solved the case and the lady, she, she first of all, she shot herself. I can't even talk. She shot herself. And I don't even see, like, she about tripping over her own gnomes, but, like, I don't see how she even turned the gun towards her like that. I mean, sure, if you kind of feel like you're going to drop it, you can kind of throw it out that way. Sure, it may go off anyway, but you end up, holding it and turning it and it pointing back at you. I don't see how that happens, but I'm guessing like if you haven't handled a gun before or anything like that, accidents like that could possibly happen. But let's be, let's just to be safe. No, that's not right. To be fair, I feel like it might've been kind of like, I don't want to say just desserts, but like a little, little, little justice on the dog's part because she poisoned the dog. So the dog kind of scared her a little bit. She turned around and shot herself. So, that's kind of on her. That kind of led up to some accidents and some consequences that she put in place. So the dog just wanted vengeance. But overall, we see that case take place and we deal with the case where the dude is about to bomb up this building and May happens to take that call as well. At this time, she's a full 911 operator. And I feel so sorry for May, man. I mean, I know Maddie got thrust into the world when she first... Uh, popped into the series and was a 911 operator she just kind of got thrust into it as well but may is on some other stuff man she's getting all these cases where mass mass casualties could be involved people are dying right off the rip but i gotta say the way she's handling herself and talking about these cases and everything i feel like that is 
really, really good for her and it'll help her in the long run so she doesn't end up having these problems dealing with all these um, instances and cases that first responders have to deal with. So it's nice to have that aspect. Then we get to see Chimney actually talking to the guy that's actually about to blow up the building. Now, that whole scene was nice and it took place and, and I was like, man, I don't see Chimney dying, not right with Maddie being pregnant and all this other stuff going on, but he was in a predicament and I was I was a little worried a little bit. But Chimney decided to tell this guy the secret because he couldn't tell anybody in the firehouse because it's it's an enclosed radius to Buck, so he couldn't tell them. And the funniest part of this episode was when he tried to tell Albert and Albert was like, nope, I don't want to hear any of it. I don't want to know nothing. But he decides to get it off his chest and tell this guy. And I feel like that was a good thing for Chimney as well because it was just, it was beating him up, man. Like he he really couldn't take it. He wished Maddie wouldn't have told him, but she did. And now he has to keep this secret from Buck. And he was able to tell this guy in the, that's about to blow up this building. And like he came to a little resolution with this as well. And being able to tell somebody that's not really in your little orbit and that you probably will never ever see again it you still shouldn't have told it but i feel like it was a relief for chimney at the same time and having that moment gave him a little clarity as to the whole situation and the dude, the, the dude was like oh uh, is that buckley is that is that the guy so it's true <laughs> but the way that chimney took him down and hit him across the head it was like hey man everybody got problems don't mean you got to go around and kill people but this episode dealt with a lot of stuff emotionally. Now, that's the cases. The cases are put put to bed. Now let's talk about the whole show as a whole dealing with the part of Buck. We see that, it, man, it's crazy. We see that him and his family and Maddie, and they're having a nice little dinner, and they give Maddie this box, and Buck is like, where is his? And that's not the case. And So much stuff is going on. And Buck just wears into his mom and dad. And he was like, I can't take it anymore. He he just nails into him. He was like, you always made us feel like we were isolated in our own home. And all we, all we ever wanted was for you guys to love us. And we learned the reason why they quite couldn't. Now, I'm not entirely sure that the adoption thing is off the table. Because after learning what we learned this episode about them having another baby and or another child and the child ended up dying so maddie knew maddie told chimney so maddie knew and she was around more than likely when it when he died and everything so that's why she's so heartbroken and it was so hard for her to tell buck but buck wasn't born yet or or around or anything and buck is is younger is way younger than maddie but could adoption still be on the table because the way that it ended this episode, and we see him looking at the picture, and Maddie didn't want him to see it, but he looks at it, and he checks it out, and he's like, this isn't me. And then Maddie tells him, this is our brother Daniel, and he died. Now, the whole thing with that is, their parents could have adopted Buck after their other son died to, I hate to say it like this, but to replace their son that died. It's wrong to ever try to replace a child with another child, because you're not going to give that child the affection and attention that they need and love, but... He died, and could they have adopted Buck to get to that other situation to, like, make themselves feel better, but they couldn't quite share that love because he's not their actual child? Or is Buck their actual child, and they just felt heartbroken because they lost another, chi they lost another child, and they could never really just get back that love that they had for the rest of their kids? Now, I'm, I'm going to go dive in and check out episode five, and then I'll be back, but... That's just a lot to think about, man, because overall, this episode got real emotional. We dealt with all the other stuff. The stuff with May got emotional. The stuff with um, Buck and Maddie got emotional. There was a lot of emotion in this episode, and it's crazy because we only let's, we only had two cases, and like, like they were very short. Normally, we'd have three tops, but dealing with everything that's going on with Buck, we needed to focus on that. Like, so we didn't really get that many cases. We got two cases and, and we're dealing with all the other stuff, dealing with the Buckleys because stuff is real, man. Let's go dive into episode five and see what's popping off, man. This is your boy, Incredible. Don't forget to smash the like button too. You can't smash it anymore. Comment down below and I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of them and subscribe, but only if you really want to, man. Dang, peace out. Hey, yeah. I